Welcome everybody to Carol's Art Room. Tonight I'm gonna to do two awesome Dutch pours. And you can see them now. Stick around. Okay, I'm ready to paint. Here we go. The small eight by 10 canvas, just trying out some colors because I wanna do a bigger one. And I wanna see how this goes first. And instead of using my Amsterdam white, so I don't waste it because I don't have a lot left. I want to save it for the big one. I'm going to try out Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Let's see how that goes. I just mixed it, so there's probably lots of air bubbles. It's pretty thin. It doesn't make a mound in there. Let's see if I can get something to pour into. doing my edges with my finger. All right, my roll of paper towel just disappeared on me. How is that possible? I'm going to take out some air bubbles. She'll probably bleed it till tomorrow. Sometimes I just can't do that. some back in my bottle. Let's touch up my edges. All right. Okay, so I've got some blue. This is Meg. Magne Magnanese Blue, Amsterdam. These are just mixed with water. Most of them are Amsterdam. This is a red violet. green and gold my rustoleum gold give it a bit more water barely makes a mound and then I have this it's called yellow what's it called
pearl yellow. It really doesn't, it looks more like a beigey, but it has, you can see the yellow in it. It's kind of shiny paint, shimmery. I have a tendency not to put enough water in it, so I have to make sure it's thin enough. Get more in the gold. Okay. I think I'm just going to do um, kind of like just a stripe in the middle like this. blue green down next and then the other blue And then this red violet. I might have too much paint, I always do that. <clears throat> I'm just going to blow it over and then back. I taped up my thing with a cup to see if I can angle it better. Now see if I can blow any of this with my breath. underneath that is just water and paint and an artist loft holy
and I can't stop staring at it. <laughs> Let me out get my straw. I want to make some, put some color in here. Just might level it a little bit. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think I like it. my torch to it. Definitely the artist lock paint makes it go crazy. Wow. Anything else? Should I just leave it? Just want to get a little color up there. There, I think it's good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hold it up for you so you can see it a little better. There you go. Our Amsterdam paint and water and artist loft base and water. Cool. Now I'll try it with my big one. I'll try it with the Amsterdam base and see how much you get. I wasn't counting on that many cells, but I'll take it. Have a good day. Come back to Carol's art room. Dried result will be at the end. Hi, everybody. So this is going to be my second Dutch pour that I'm trying on 8x10 just to see if I like my colors and how it turns out, then I'll go for the bigger ones. So I did one with uh, Artist Loft background and water. So today, or now, this time, I'm gonna use Amsterdam and water. So let's see how this goes. My 
palette knife. I don't want to pour too much of this off. I can even it out a little. This needs a bit more. Okay. And this one I'm going to do in, in a circle, I think. I've got gold. I've got green blue. By Amsterdam. I've got... Red Violet by Amsterdam. Magne, Magne, Meganese Blue. Magnanese. That's a hard one to say. Bit of gold. And then I have this yellow, pearl yellow color. Take a bit of this weight.
and that's the same roll. Holy moly, it's the same. So, ladies and gentlemen, Artist Loft works just the same as Amsterdam. I'm going to give it a spin. I can even it out a bit. Now, do I need my straw? Do I want to blow any out? Almost looks like a butterfly. a bit still in the middle. Okay, I think I'm done this one. I'll get my sides later. I was trying to blow this out a little bit, but I don't think there's enough paint there.
I like it when it's a little wispy. All right, so there you go. There's one with Amsterdam back background. And uh, yes, so many, so many cells with just water. Anyways, have a great day and come back to Carol's art room. Hold it up. Dry results will be at the end of this video. There you go. Hi, everyone. Here's the dried results of my two Dutch pours. They dried so awesome. Take you in for a close up. This is the one with the artist loft background. Dried very nice. I notice it dries it a little bit on the shiny side. So that's kind of cool. There's the bottom of it. That's where I want the bottom anyway. There's the top. And here's the second one. And this was done with Amsterdam white. And it dries more flat, like a flat white. The colors are so vibrant on this one a little bit more purple but i think they're both great so they both work artist loft or amsterdam as a background and yeah not a problem at all beautiful i love them thanks for watching come back to Carol's Art Room. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.